Hi, I'm Rachel Meyer, and today we'll be looking into mindfulness of breath. Last week we asked, what is mindfulness? One definition I've always been fond of is that mindfulness is just the process of making friends with ourselves. Another we discussed last week is that mindfulness is the moment-to-moment -moment awareness of what is here and now without it having to be anything different. This means not clinging or grasping to what is, not resisting what is, not denying what is, not working to change, manipulate, or control what is, not getting lost in rumination or regret about the past, and at the same time, not getting lost in worry, fantasy, or excitement about the future. Literally, meditation and mindfulness mean being right here, right now, in this present moment, without judging it or wishing it were otherwise. Last week, we also introduced the notion of anchoring, so that, like a boat that is anchored, the anchor prevents that boat from being adrift. The breath is an important anchor with us from the moment we are born and remaining with us until the moment we depart. It is our most trusted, most loyal companion. We are never without the breath. It's an important resource for us to anchor in when we feel stressed, overwhelmed, angry and reactive or emotionally engulfed. The breath is the place we can return to when we do feel adrift. And our bodies are always breathing themselves, naturally letting the inhales rise and the exhales fall, whether we are even aware of this or not. Take a moment or two now to check in with your practice. How has the last week been for you? How did your three minute practices go? Feel free to pause the video and take your time to really investigate and reflect upon how your practice felt in your body and your mind and how it fit into your regular routine and your close relationships. Remember, no answer is good or bad, it just is. And even a practice that felt tough or distracted is still a meaningful practice. In today's lesson, we'll be investigating mindfulness of breath. This means the moment to moment awareness of the breath as it is here and now without it having to be anything different. That means there's no effort or strain. There's nothing complex or tricky. And there's no judgment about how the breath is now. It's an easeful, welcoming, non-judgmental approach to the breath, really letting it be exactly as it is. And knowing that breath is the raw material for your practice. As a reminder, our best breath is natural. It's effortless. Remember, the body breathes itself. That breath is easeful. And it's non-striving. You don't need to try to get anywhere with it. You can let it be just as it is. That breath is calm. It's unhurried. And it's nurturing every single cell of your body. And finally, that breath is precious. When we've lost someone we love, or maybe if we're asthmatic and struggling to breathe, or you're sick with a sinus infection that makes inhaling and exhaling next to impossible, those are the moments that we really see and value the breath for the sacred gift that it is. In those moments, we cease to take it for granted. This right here is the point of practice. This is exactly why we meditate. 
So let's review a few quick concepts from lesson one about the different ways of anchoring through the breath. You can start by focusing on the sensation of the inhalation and exhalation and that little space between the two. You could also focus on the quality of the breath. Is it deep? Is it ragged? Is it shallow? Is it grounded? You could focus on the sensation of the breath. You might focus on the soft whisper of a word or a phrase, a mantra, like here, now, or let go. Or finally, you could focus on the location of the body within which the breath is landing. There are so many possibilities for investigating the breath as anchor. So stay curious, stay open, and see what new discoveries might emerge.